Hello and welcome back to In My Image. As you can see, there's only a tiny speck left of opposition here in the very tip of India. We're gonna end this today. Hopefully I can declare uh, an invasion. I can indeed. Invasion declared. Sri Lanka, you're against me. So we will land our naval invaders on the Maldives and take a look. Where can we uh, pull some troops from? We can pull them from here. Fortunately, we will not need too many. Take one stack here and not that one. Um, one stack from here, one stack from there, one stack from um, here and there. Yeah, let's move on. That should be uh, enough. Lots of very tiny stacks here. We will let them go off together on adventures. And the rest here. It should be all of them. Oh, we need even more on the Maldives. Let's get the troops over there. There we go. And it seems like we need even more troops here, but I think there's more coming. Alright, there's, there's a big plague here. That's why they are like suffering attrition. Move over there. I guess in this particular case, having a quick assault will be very beneficial for the health of our troops. Oh, there's lots of them dying. I mean, a lot of them. Is there some sort of hidden... Oh, there's two plagues. That's why. It's two plagues at once. Well, they will be uh, gone, in, gone soon enough. Can't be bothered by petty plagues when we have the world in our sights. Though it is quite annoying the fact that uh, so many are dying. Get over here. People are adopting our religion. Lovely. Struggle, please. Marshall and Marshall. So our air is still really crappy, as in extraordinarily so. Hopefully he dies of the plague. So someone else more worthy can take over. He's got a lot of prestige though, and we're gonna need that prestige in the tribalization stage. Let's uh, click some random buttons here. Unsurprising Hindu revolt. Wow, there's almost no soldiers here. This is why you don't need civilization. It only leads to plague. But still, we will bring civilization back. Eventually. But we will take our time and do it right this time. No arrogant towers trying to reach the sky. The sky is off limits. Well, at least for now. Who knows? I mean, I do want to take this uh, campaign into Stellaris. But it still uh, remains to see if the campaign can be made to work in Stellaris. I think it all... Um, it all comes down to Hearts of Iron. <laughs> if the Heart of Iron unification works, if I win the war, or whatever happens, you know. It's gonna be exciting. I'm looking forward to this journey. Oh, need some more troops over here. Everyone is dying from the plague. Fortunately, my soldiers are hardy. 
This might be um, among the worst losses I've ever faced. It's actually not uh, insignificant the amount of troops that are dying here. From uh, plague, no less. We created Westrogothia. Oh, I missed, missed the button and closed the window instead. It's lagging quite badly now, but you, you already noticed, I presume. When it lags like this, it's really hard to move the camera, so I usually let it stick here in one place. Which works for me. It might be a bit boring to watch it, but it's, uh, it's a necessity. I will zoom out soon and give you an overview of the world anyway. Overview of the clans. I'm gonna create a new clan, by the way. It's gonna be in North... Or actually, I might create three new clans in India. Um, they should be weaker than me, obviously, so I can bully them around. Let's see, Shelland. That is a full occupation if I've ever seen one. Alright, and lastly we have these two. Poor little Lanka, and now my vassals say no. Oh, because I I need some yes men in here. You look yes man enough? Are you yes man enough? No, they're glory hounds. I need to get some favors. Hey, would you mind um, if I bought a favor of you? How about you? Would you accept me buying a favor of you? Nice! Um, let's see, call in council support. Call in council support. Now I am able to declare the last few invasions I need. Invasion of Lanka and invasion of Lanka. Look at that. Wow, this is not burnt down yet. I am impressed. Alright, we are moving on. Moving onwards, ever onwards. Through the plague. This plague is actually rather significant. Hey, I'm clicking here. Sometimes the clicks just don't match up with where I'm actually clicking. Right, we have a lot to pillage apparently. Pillage all. Yep. Let's make sure you can beat that little revolt. Nice. This pleases me. Alright, let's see here. Do I need... Yes, I do. I do need some more troops over here. Why do I... Why have everyone gone over here? I sent you out to different places, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm going insane. This is the last stretch. We are on the verge of conquering the entire world. Except for a few independent moronic priests, but I don't think they even count. Defeat? Oh no, some rebels defeated us because we were weakened by plague. Get over there and make sure that doesn't happen again. We are so close to not only conquering the world, because conquering the world we could have done ages ago. We are burning it to the ground. We're killing everyone who is not a Mongol, and we're gonna move in exclusively Mongols. And we're gonna tribalize the world, and we're gonna build it right back up after we have done so. I will not tribalize in this episode, that will not happen, I will need to do some preparations. Um, but I can show you the decision. Rebuild the world in your image, here it is, and you can read the, the text again if you forgot about it. Um, 
And yeah, it just requires this. There's a string ID there, I see, but uh, there can't be an independent ruler who is not Mongol. And I believe all of them are Mongol right now. I'm gonna extend that because I'm, I'm gonna make it so that uh, there's not any independent ruler that is at least count or higher because I believe... Uh, um, and they, they should be landed as well because I think the Pope might count as a, as a ruler. He's not a landed ruler though, I guess. Well, it, 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 no problems. I mean, it's a decision I made. I can remake it however I like. I'm gonna make it logical. And it's all gonna be pretty damn amazing, you'll see. Oh, we're so close. You are... Close. I wanna take this before I end the war with the revolt. 14 days. That's the revolt down. Um, I guess I will do it that way. Enforce demands. Start burning it. Pillage all. And then we have this left. Pitiful little castle. Not sure exactly what I'm fighting there, but... Whatever it is, it's not posing much of a challenge. There we go! I do believe that the world is now conquered. Now we just need to burn it. Pillage all. Is there anything we're not pillaging? Hey. No, we're pillaging everything. Alright. You are angry, Mengu Teamer. Want a seat on the council? Here you go, there's your seat. Let's take a look at the culture map. We are burning all of this down. We need to uh, do that this episode as well. And, uh, well, there's this tiny Uyghur province here. Might keep that around just for fun. And uh, the survivor pocket of Prussian. But one of them have been turned Mongol. So I have a... I have a nagging feeling that this will all turn Mongol in time, including the Uyghur province. Look at this. This is so very Mongol. Let's take a look at the ledger and uh, see who is independent in the world. The Joms Vikings. <laughs> the Joms Vikings. Right, you're hiding here, aren't you? I... I think I will subjugate you. Do I have any troops here I could do that with? I do, on Iceland. Let's get over there. We're going Viking. To the Joms Viking. Surprised that my vassal hasn't taken the uh, opportunity here. Jamuga? Um. Okay, how about I buy a favor off of you? Let me uh, call in the council support. Can I attack them now? Yamuga? Subjugation? Yes! Look at that! Soon I will be the only independent ruler in the world. There's quite a few Jumps Vikings there. Let's call in my vassals. Let's win this first. I only call them into the correct war. <laughs> this is all heavy cavalry. No, it's some light cavalry as well. I'll put you in charge. That was a bunch of Indian provinces being burnt to the ground. Are you actually Mongol, Yom's Viking leader? No, you're... You're still your main I love it! 
Oh, but they are hard coded to be in Norse. I guess that could be changed, but still. You usurp the temple of uh, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. My Danish is not that good. Why would I want it to be? Offer peace and force demands. You're now my vassals. How does it feel, Yamuga, of the Mengu teamer? I bet it's, uh, it uh, feels great. Alright. I'm actually gonna make a quick save here, just in case something goes wrong. I don't think it will, but why not be on the safe side, you know? And uh, we will simply observe this culture map until uh, it goes away. It turns light blue. Oh no, we have factions. <laughs> Alright, uh, overthrow Khan. Can I give you some money? Yes, I can. Can I give you some honorary titles, like designated regent, along with uh, Bagatou? Yes, I can. You want a gift? You do want a gift. Do you want a gift? Yes. Along with an honorary title. Oh, and you can also be my court physician, because why not? Do you want a gift? Yeah, you do. And maybe you also want a um, title. Yes, you do. There, get out of the faction now. Another raving mob of Hindu infidels. Lots of clans are adopting our religion. Which is fine, I suppose, because their heirs are not gonna be Miaphysite, no. Some of them are, not all of them. Hmm. Whatever religion they are when they settle is probably gonna be the one they are sticking with because their vassals are gonna be annoying. Oh, by the way, I did some modding and um, there will be a new decision or actually modified versions of the form new kingdom and new empire uh, decisions that uh, allows uh, nomad... Uh, not nomad... Uh, Mongol characters later on to form kingdoms like pretty much willy-nilly. Um, because I want... If, if a duke breaks free, I want them to uh, form a new kingdom. To like make this world a bit more... Uh, normal, so to say. Offer white peace? No. But you have nothing! You have nothing! This great holy war will go nowhere. Where it... <laughs> Good. You don't even have any troops. Just take the peace. Curse you. Great holy war for Comania. Oh well, when you don't take Comania, it will start to tick to my uh, in my direction. Might have to disable all the crusades and great holy wars and stuff. Because they are quite stupid. 400,000 uh, K. Not bad. Mm. Yes, I think we uh, indeed will have time to uh, create some vassals in this episode as well. I just want to burn everything down first. Oh, I feel awful. This might mean that a vassal breaks loose. Let's make... In case I die, that is. So let's make sure that they like me. They should all like me. Wow, they actually do like me. I, I thought that was just an of exaggeration from my part. Uh, they don't love me. All, all of them at least. You want gold? You do. You want a title? You do. And you can also have a title. No, you already have one. Master of the Eagle to you. I'm glad I hired Gul. Dying would actually not be too bad, because then I would uh, have some prestige to uh, play around with. I thought I was uh, angry there for a while. So there will be no official faith in the Empire, but it seems like Miaphysite might take the cake here. I'm still unsure. The 
look at that. Oh, it was the flu! Oh no, did I get a... Oh, I got a mild flu. <laughs> as, lo as long as you know what you're doing. Successful treatment. Lovely. So let's see, I want to be strong, but not too strong. So which duchess should I keep? Let's take a look at the duchy map mode. While all of this is being burnt down. Um, Sistan, Baluchistan. I want Bakar. Sovira. Wow, all of them are adopting a religion now. Stravani, Maru. Medapata, Avanti. Gurjara, Mandala. Uh, Anarta, Saurastra. I pretty much want, want this just straight down. Maybe I'll keep uh, Lanka. Yeah, I'll probably keep this for myself. Um, so 5%. Why, where, what did I get 5% from? Is it taking more score? Uh, yeah, I control command. <laughs> Do I really have to wait? Alright. You. Lots of Miaphysites, still some Sunni, some Tengris. Technological advances again here, let's go for anything. Anything goes. I feel better. There are very few provinces left. There another smattering of them went away. We're making the world a big old pasture for our horses. But I am not satisfied until there are no remnants of civilization left. Oh, there's some sort of disease here, aren't there? A small all the disease in the world is concentrated here. Because there is nowhere else for them to go! Oh, there's four diseases there at once! Spy Master, you. Maybe I can change a law for fun? Fun and profit? Noble? Ouch. I sheep them of Badajoz. Cursed infidels. White piece? White piece? No. Nope. Okay then. Oh, you. Why did I reform your faith if I knew you would repay me like this? How many buildings are there left? Quite a few. Would we'll give it a year or two, maybe. Soon. And suddenly, all of my vassals started loving me. I wonder what I did. Must have been. Oh, so it's crushed a major revolt. Defending versus foreigners. That's it. I'm apparently defending against a foreigner because he is... what? He's a Mongol, but he's Tengri, of course, so... I guess that's it, maybe? Oh, do I have any uh, Tengri vassals left? Oh, yeah, the... Um, Gambatar. Abdominal pain. Glad I hired Godan. Oh no. Am I gonna die before I see the world uh, burn? Make sure I'm stressed, abdominal pain, and vomiting. What is this a symptom of? It's the flu again. <laughs> I'm getting the flu all the time. Oh no. 
no, 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 no. No, and you treated him well. I want him to die. He's a syphilitic freak. Oh. Oh well. When I eventually tribalize the... Um, the governance will change to Tanistry, because I thought that would be the, that, that would be the coolest form of... Uh, um... Um, succession we could have, because it's kind of um, like Nomad Succession, only that our vassals all vote for who should take over. Which I think is pretty cool. So it's like a semi-Holy um, Roman Empire system where you can only pick from my family. Form of Blood Oath, who are you? Yeah, sure, whatever. Korshi the Drunkard. Sure, you can become Mongol if you like. Kalyani Shalukia. How big is my court? 202. This 163 prisoners. Holy. Alright, this war is over. White peace. Go away, Tengri priest. You should have stayed my vassal. You know it to be true, deep down in your heart. Alright, we're almost done burning down the entire world. One more tick. One more tick. By the way, is East, Afri East Africa is Germanic. It means they control uh, a few of the holy sites. So I should transfer it to them. Um, Napata. Mirab. Bell? No, you're supposed to have Alexandria, aren't you? Transfer vassalage off. Huh. What? Do I have the Coptic Pope? Wow, I didn't know I had the Coptic Pope. Transfer vassalage off. Antioch? Transfer vassalage. Mirabel. I'm actually gonna give the Coptic, po Co the Coptic Pope land in India, I thought. Um, somewhere here. Uh, after I uh, tribalize. So I'm gonna save a bit more land than I originally planned. It just hit me that that would be pretty cool. To have like the Coptic Pope being in Bengal or here maybe. Maybe on Sri Lanka. <laughs> no, I, I would like him to be strong. Yeah, I think having the Coptic Pope as uh, my vassal. I didn't know he, he were my vassal, so... Is that the last revolt before uh, the inevitable fall? <gasps> are we having a, an affair? I will kill the filthy infidel. I became wounded. Not good. I don't think I'll die. Not now. Oh, I did! Let's see, Kargan Cthulhu, a naive man. His reluctant nature may stop him from taking charge. That's actually not a bad, uh, bad thing for him. Every vassal stayed loyal. Oh, that's a relief. At least, I, did the Coptic Pope go? Are you still my vassal, Coptic Pope? You are. And the Grand... Oh, I'm gonna give the Grand Master land as well. Of course I am. Uh, but I'm gonna mod his culture to be Mongol. And um, the same with the Coptic Pope, I think. The Coptic Pope is... No, he is Mongol. All right. So I'm gonna remove the culture requirement from uh, from this guy, Order of Saint Anthony. Perhaps the Joms Vikings as well. Make it Mongol. Or just flat out remove it, to be honest. It might work. I'm not sure if it works, but uh, I think it does. White piece. What kind of ambition should I have? Groom and heir, of course. Let me uh, get some uh, concubines. I want to savor this moment. Who should I get? Who should I get? Most of uh, most of them are getting pretty old. That was a strong one, but also inbred. Not very, 
Not very good. No, all getting way too old. All of my young uh, prisoners are Indian. So I will take some young Indians. Some Buddhists, in fact. <laughs> I am syphilitic. No. Form a blood oath. Yeah, sure, I'll take a blood oath with you, whoever you are. <laughs> Let's go for family focus. <laughs> I'll cut my face off to save... Uh, to, to get rid of that syphilis. If it, uh, if it works. Oh, we need to pillage all. There we go! The world is burnt down. It's amazing. Look at that. Mongol Empire. It's got the entire world. The entire world. Look at that. Except for these two Prussian and this one Uyghur province. We have it all. And it's all Mongol. Uh, the faiths are very mixed. But I like that. Germanic. Sunni. Tengri, Miaphysite. Some of them are probably gonna regress. Let's see here. Are you gonna regress? No. Alright, well, um, I think this, uh, this episode can go on for slightly longer than normal. I wanna create a, a vassal or two. Let's see, what is this even? Makran. Oh, that's, that's mine. Rohana. Oh, how annoying. Is this gonna have to be one of these uh, when I, where I scroll? You know what? I might actually design these particular vassals in between episodes. And then uh, in the next episode we will have the, the tribalization stage. It will start. And I will test things and make sure they work and ensure that the game will keep on being interesting. But anyway, thank you for watching this far, and uh, now the game will radically change. Thanks for watching.